you care for me, care for me. You said you care for me, there for me, there for me. You said you there for me, cry for me, cry for me. You said you die for me, give to me, give to me. Why won't you live for me? All right, how is everyone doing today? This is a video lesson for Drake's new song, Nice For What. My name is David Donahue, I'm from Kaizen Guitar Online Guitar Academy, and what I'm gonna bring you through are the main chords. So let's take a look. Before we get into it, I just have one quick question, and the question is, what is your favorite Drake song? I'd love to hear it, just post a comment down below. Um, my favorite one so far is this one. Um, it's just the upbeat funk of the chords, and it's kind of soulful with the backing vocals. Um, for that, it would have been passion fruit, just on because. Might do a lesson on it yet. <laughs> but, anyways, let's get into this. To play this song, you're going to need only four bar chords. And the deal with it is, only, there's only three different shapes on the bar chords. So, it isn't as bad as it may seem. Oh, Alright, so these are the bar chords for the main hook. And I'm just after realizing Lauren Hill's name is Dumfries. Okay, didn't know that. Makes a lot of sense though. <laughs> so it goes as follows. It goes one, two, three, four. Care for me, care for me. You said you care for me, there for me, there for me. You said you there for me, cry for me, cry for me. You said you die for me, give to me, give to me. Why won't you live for me? Alright, so let's take a look at these chords. Now, as you can see from the diagram, they aren't exactly computer generated. Um, I just said I'd try out some handwriting. We start off with the F minor chord. Now, that is written as an A minor shaped bar chord and it looks as follows. And you see it I've written on the eighth fret. Okay, your next chord is an E flat six. And you're actually doing more barring with your in with your ring finger than your index. So you slide down two frets, then press with your index, and then you get your ring finger and you just flatten it. Now you may have a bit of an uncomfortable feeling with that knuckle that's closest to your nail for this one because it does have to flatten so it catches all the strings. Okay, kind of a Hawaiian sound. Or Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> So we have F minor, then we have the E flat six. Then all you do is you wait behind the sixth fret and then you have B flat minor seven, which is essentially like your B minor seven bar chord. Just take off your pinky. Then finally you have a D flat six, which is the same as your E flat six chord, just down two frets. So steps to that would be, take it handy, learn the chords first, get used to them all coming out, and then practice the movements. I'd go back and over like that. Now that's all the rhythmic stuff. So if you want to pause the video and take in those chords, feel free. And what I'm going to move on to in the next frame is just the rhythm. All right, so the thing about the rhythm is really, it's about keeping your hand moving at all times and you're gonna miss a few of them. So for the purpose of counting, I'm gonna count one E and a two E and a. So I'll do that again, it goes one E and a two one more time. One E and A, two E and A. And when you think about it, you're missing it on the one E and A, two E and A. That's how it goes. And you'll notice I have a bit of a backbeat slap put into it. So that's fitting in on the second beat and the fourth beat of each measure. But 
if you're not too familiar with that sort of percussive strumming, leaving it out is okay too. And this Drake song in particular is very interesting because listening to it, the bass only comes in at a certain point. And also, like, technically there isn't much chords going on in the background. So what I did was I listened to the choir and I listened to the main hook that's been sang and I combined them into chords. And then once the bass notes came in, I connected the bass notes to the chords and that's how I came upon those bar chords. Um, so that's the main hook, that's the chorus, and that's what he raps over as well. I would rap over it for context, but I figured I'd just get the content up. But I hope you can hear where it fits in the music. All right, I think that's about it. If you haven't already subscribed and you wanna keep up to date for more songs, I also have a lesson done for God's plan as well, if you wanna check that out, and uh, or give the lesson a quick thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, catch you soon.